that scotch. Oh, we recorded. I had no idea. Hello, friends and gamers and well, anyone watching my nonsense. Today I'm going to show you a quick and dirty wet palette. What's a wet palette? Very simply put, it is a spongy-like material underneath a semi-permeable piece of paper of some kind that you can put paint on top of, and the liquid will seep up from the dampened, spongy material on the bottom and keep your paint from drying out super rapidly. Um, this should only cost you a few bucks. Most of you will probably have most of these materials in your kitchen, so uh, let's get to it. Wet palette! Floppy. To make my wet palette, all you're going to need are a few simple things. This is a silicone cup mat for drying. It's got the nice little ridges on it. Beautiful. These are those blue shop towel paper towels you get from Walmart, dollar store, anything. About four bucks for a roll. And non-stick parchment paper. You can get it almost anywhere. It's relatively cheap. Just depends on where you want to get it from. This is the great value kind. I think this uh, 60 square foot box cost me like four or five bucks. All you have to do, very simply put, ah, we have PPA paper. Will that work? Uh, no, wax paper will not work because it's not permeable enough. Okay. The non-stick parchment paper will allow liquid to go through it. So all you do, Cut out your little towels into the right size to fit into your silicone mat, like so. Give it a little bit of room on the sides because it will expand. Then, I use my distilled water. You just moisten the hell out of it. Yes, I said moist. It's kind of a gross yes. word. I know. Into it. See? We just get it higher? That's good. Like this. Okay. You just want it to absorb as much water as you can and soak it just to make sure there's enough to hold in the moisture. Once it's expanded, like so, you're going to put your parchment paper on top. It's gonna wanna curl. Just hold it down for a little bit so that the parchment paper can absorb all the water it needs to. This will take a few minutes, and it can be kind of annoying if you're OCD like me, but eventually, Give it a little help with a quick splash on top. Massage it in, just like you're massaging a nice hamburger or a steak. Or think of happy little trees. And wet palette. Yes, I splashed water everywhere. That's quite all right. What this will do is you will put your paint on it. And I like the kind of little ridges because it will actually hold the paint in there. And we all know that when painting with acrylics, it dries out really quick. This will allow it to stay usable for hours and hours. I've left it in this particular rig overnight, six or 16, 24 hours, and it's still been usable. The commercial uh, wet palettes will have a cover on top. Uh, some have also said to use Gladware. Any of that will work. This was just cheap because I got the silicone thing at the dollar store. But uh, it'll also add a little water into the mix as it's sitting there, thinning out your paint. And we all know you want to thin out your paint and do multiple thin coats. And I'm still leaking liquid everywhere, but that's quite alright. That's how we do it Deathcraft style. So, quick, dirty, wet palette. I love it. I use it myself. Hope this helps and have a great time crafting. Deathcraft style. Where are you? There you are. A little dry. Wet palette. 
white palette.